Hi neighbors, John your whiskey neighbor. Uh, I've been looking at some of my past videos and noticed that I've had uh, a few whiskeys appear but not given their own review. This review is about Knob Creek Single Barrel. So Knob Creek Single Barrel um, I have definitely featured on several of my videos but I've never just shot its own clip so I thought it deserved that so you could search and find my thoughts. Um, this is not a store pick. This is simply Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve, small batch, aged nine years. It's 120 proof or 60% alcohol by volume. Um, if you've seen me talk about it, uh, this, uh, this really grabbed me at the end of last year and has held my attention. Um, for someone who has a number of open bottles, uh, I think a good testament to whether the person really does appreciate the whiskey or not is whether they've rebought it in a certain uh, amount of time. And uh, this was just gifted to me for my birthday. And, uh, and in, in a year, uh, this is, I think, probably the third bottle that's been through my house. So now I have shared it liberally with Brad and others, um, but it is a bourbon that I appreciate. Give you some of my tasting thoughts. That's why we're here. Wow, I've just been doing kind of Canadian whiskey and then scotch to come to this. It's such a, um, a, a fuller nose in the sense of, of, of really uh, coating sugar, uh, cooked sugar. Now, like where you get hints of vanilla and caramel, maybe in scotch that's aged in ex, uh, bourbon. To have a nine-year-old bourbon of this strength, the nose is just swallowing me up in... Um, Caramel, toffee, cherry fruit, uh, cooked brown sugar. And, you know, this is 60% and it is surprising how deep I can put my nose in it, give it a good sniff. No mistaking that it's strong. But really, you know, being bourbon, you know, it's that new oak. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that this is not colored. I don't know that. If anyone does, please comment. Uh, but I can believe this color even though it's only at nine years. And that's because it's in that new uh, uh, toasted chard. I think it's chard wood of Jim Beam. Don't know the mash bill on this. I should look that up. It's not high rye, I don't, I don't believe. Lots of corn, some rye, and some malted barley. Boy, I just love that nose. In fact, even though I've had a few whiskeys, that nose immediately makes my mouth salivate a little bit. And it explodes all over the tongue. This is... Um, it, it starts in that sweet zone, that corn sweetness you get from bourbon. So, you know, you've got that high corn sweetness, caramel, toffee, uh, but cooked brown sugar. Um, so maybe when I say cherry, it would be like a, if there was such a thing as a cherry tart, but not, not that tart, that's too much. So somehow we've got some cooked cherries with brown sugar sprinkled on it and, and on a nice crust. I just, I really love this bourbon. And I really like it at the strength that comes out. Uh, this one holds up well to water. If you put water in it, I think it does balance the burn because I get some spice burn on my tongue, but it's, yeah, maybe there's some clove and some allspice and some uh, cracked pepper. So there's gotta be some rye in there, but it's not really, it's also the spice just from 60% alcohol washing over your tongue. This is a monster. And if you're not used to high proof bourbon, it will overwhelm your palate very quickly. So I definitely say, I don't usually recommend this, but it's a great one for sipping when it's hot. You can pour it over ice. It still holds up strong. You certainly can add some water and the flavors will still be there. In fact, you'll get a few more layers of flavor. In fact, one of the things I've noticed, not now, but if I water this down, um, I'll get a little more of the oak on the finish, which I thought is nice. And up front, 
I get a little more layering among the fruits that I'm getting and not just the overwhelming sweetness. So it adds, it holds up with water, might even improve with water. So uh, my rating for Knob Creek Single Barrel has grown over the year. So this is easily a four and a half star bourbon. Um, there is some bitterness on the edge of it, on the ends of it. Uh, there's, I guess, room for improvement. Um, but really, for me personally, I'd actually say it's a five star bourbon. I really enjoy it and everyone I've shared it with has also loved it.